Hi, welcome into this Lensy review where I will be pulling back the curtains to show you all of the truths nobody else is sharing with you, the pros and cons, alternatives, and so much more about this platform if it is legitimate and how you can finally power yourself and or your business forward with 110% confidence and certainty without making mistakes time and time again, falling into the wrong hands. Can you trust them? Are they reliable? Will they care for me? Will it be more of a longer term strategic partnership and roadmap as well as much more? But before I do that, my name is Michael with Viral Funding Solutions. I'm a business loan broker expert, business owner like yourself. And I've been in through all of this where just try to figure out like what is legitimate, what isn't, what works, what doesn't. Perhaps you've tried time and time again and you're like, I want to get away from that or I don't want to make that mistake ever. So let's answer the question on your mind right this second. Is Lindsay legit? Perhaps you've searched on Google. You've come across my content on there, which I'll also be using as guidance and showing you in a second in another tab or elsewhere, other YouTube reviews, or maybe there aren't enough of them. You just see a lot of maybe trust pilot reviews are good, but you don't know if you can take those at face value. Sometimes I have to be careful if it's a marketing thing. Are those fabricated? Are they not? And so the answer to that is yes, they are legitimate. I'm not saying they are a scam, and that's a testament to how long they've been around on the web, their age, and a few other factors. However, that does not necessarily mean they are the best and number one solution for you and your needs. And you will want to listen in on this and see what I have to show you to find that out for yourself. And again, I've been in this industry long enough as an expert and I'll be revealing to you why I don't believe myself it is the number one place to turn to. And as if you're a beginner, why you may be thinking this is fancy. And once you really look on the inside, you'll really have better details. So here you see the homepage, make your most educated business decision yet. And one thing I want to uh, clear is if you hear my voice, I'm at the tail end of a cold that I came down with. So I'm still at those recovery stages. So I want to keep this as short and concise, but it'll be very specific. So you know what to do now, compare lending options and get funded fast. So it is one of these plot lending platforms or a lending partner, I should say that then connects you to a network of lenders. So it's an online marketplace. Think about it as some of these other companies, if you've watched me review others, like a Lending Tree, Lendio, perhaps maybe even a Fundera and a few other ones out there. And they work in a similar circumstance where they will connect you with the lender. They are not the lender themselves. And so they'll send you over to third parties. And I'm going to get into a second why I don't recommend doing this and what can happen with your information. And what I've already had a lot of clients experience, what I've gone through this with my own businesses before I transitioned to becoming an expert in this field to educate you properly. So stick with me on that. And so again, they work as a lending partner, as the bridge per se, to then connect you. So once you give them your information, they'll, they're likely to send this information to different third parties. You could be getting contacted, email, text, whatever it is, time and time again, relentlessly and bombarded with all of this. And I'm sure you don't want that. You already have enough emails. You have to look at other things and getting those every day, even multiple times a day. And you're probably not getting it from the best in your space, in your industry, probably not the best underwriting because a lot of these companies, I'm not saying they do 100% of it, but a lot of these companies, they go ahead and use the same underwriter or underwriters to underwrite those files. And you may not be getting the most up-to-date, the best, the fastest, the speed, the reliability, the maximum amount you could get, the better terms and rates, and so much more. So you have to be very careful about using online marketplaces. And there's somewhat similarities to this that I see with like a Lendio or a lending tree. And those are ones that I normally recommend. They will not be. So here you can see the different products that we'll be getting into in a moment. Small business loans, disaster loans, startup business loans, real estate personal, and then student. And you can see underneath here how it works. We'll be diving into a little bit more of that as we go along. So number one, you would apply, fill out a simple application. There is no fee or obligation, so you don't have to worry about that. And it will not impact your credit. They say it's a soft pull. I've seen some people complaining that, okay, said soft pull, but then something about a hard pull. Maybe they weren't 
uh, notified or maybe they just didn't know that part or they didn't read carefully. But you just have to be careful. I've had experiences with other companies out there, and I'm not saying they truly do this, that will take your information and they will shop your credit. And so it ends up hurting your credit in the end of the day. It gets big, getting pulled by multiple people, even if it's a soft pull. There's an inflection point there where if you go apply even to a direct lender or another type of an online marketplace or a brokerage, and they see that you've applied multiple times, whether it's underneath that lender or not, they they won't take you serious. They saw that you applied in the last 30 days and your, your file was likely declined or they just don't want to take take it because you might be either hiding something or you're not, or it's just you're just back and forth and you're unsure about yourself and what to do. Nobody's educating you. You finally have someone in yours truly who really does care from a personal human perspective, you're not a number to me. And then secondly, it is in business. And I do my part very, very well. And I sincerely do care. I won't do things that are in my best interest. And if you want to find out more, just so you know, down below in the description, I'll leave a questionnaire form for you. Start with that one. It'll be one of the very first links. And I'll show you what it looks like here in a moment. Actually, I'll do it right now. So if you click that link, it'll show you something like this or similar. And then you can see a little bit about me right there, how this works. If you're a non-startup, you're a startup, so like either one, you can get a free six-step pre-approval lending checklist to get you approved for funding much faster. So if you click one or the other, complete the questionnaire form below to get a personalized and customized email response for your best funding option and options from a real business loan broker expert. Plus get a free six-step pre-approval lending checklist to get you approved for funding much faster without making mistakes. So it'll look something like this. Literally, you can get it done in less than 30 seconds if you have it all there. Some, some of them are estimates, so you don't have to be as accurate, but be around the ballpark so I can pre-underwrite a file. And so that's what I do. As a broker, I look through the documents and you want somebody who can handle them with care, who will look at them, revise them, analyze them, evaluate them. And I do all of that, the deposits, starting any bank balances for each and every industry I've helped get funded. And I've seen every pain point, every problem, question, roadblock, the results you want to get to. What are those obstacles? So there it is right there. And my process is once you set that in, it'll land in my email. I'll give you a response back via email. It's very thorough and precise. It might be too long where you have to have a message clip, but that's okay. It gives you everything, whether you can or can't qualify for those options. At the very top is going to be your best option. And you can get started a conclusion roadmap and a lot more bonus material. Very well stuff. And a lot of people love it. So I'll, again, I'll leave that down below as well as other resources like a business funding master academy course. Now, to compare, explore small business loan options from 60 plus lenders. We'll help you choose the best one, see your loan options, secure funding, get the capital you need in as little as 24 hours, depending on your files, not always uh, same day or 24 hours. It can be between one to two days to even get that offer, if not a little bit more, depending on your file. And so let's go through some of these products. But before I do, here's the review that I'll also leave down below in a blog post version. So make sure to check it out. We spoke about what is Lindsay, and let me cover a few bits of these details. It's a quote unquote more of an online marketplace is how I would like to classify it. Because you're being connected with those third-party lenders that are, you know, saying, hey, let's get on that Lindsay platform, whether they are the best or not. And you don't know if you're getting the most up to date. I work with the best lenders and underwriters, just so you know this. I've vetted them and I get people funded every single day, whether it's a hundred and above or less than a hundred thousand. You're a startup company where maybe it is pre-revenue, but we have to look at more of a form of a credit side and how do we get your credit up enough where we can then lend you. And then from there, you can work. It's about working from one spot to the next. It's like going up the steps of a ladder or the stairs. You have to start somewhere. And if you start up here, great. You may have to come back a little bit or you may have to continue to move forward. So everybody's in a different position. So it's a partner or in other words, an online marketplace that connects you with lenders in the personal and business financing space, such as business loans, personal loans, I already mentioned that. They have over 10 years of experience and plus in the lending space and have established a partner network of over 60 lending, uh, lending institutions, lenders, and have overseen an excess of 500 million raised for entrepreneurs across America. The financial experts behind Lindsay are co-founder, partner Ryan Kelly, co-founder and CEO David Halverson, and head of content is Katie Samano. Now, this is where I see a red flag because of the About Us page. Uh, so if I go over here, I mean, this even takes a second to load. You can't even see the loading page there. So that confused me in the very beginning. So I have this part here, I have a ring for the HP. You guys can't see it on your end, but it, it enhances the lighting. Sometimes I can't see some of the words. So 500 million in loan serving, you saw a few of those things. And you got to see there, their processes. Uh, but let me move your attention here first. So you see something like that, and I already have a red flag myself because like I already got the part where there's names. I mean, okay, we should be able to trust that. 
but you still you you have your guard up because you're like is that even a real name or what and then you're able to then click here so let's say we do go there now it brings me to linkedin and there is no photo of that individual uh it just shows me the company you can do that for the other profiles as well maybe that'll change over time and it'll look different but uh, i go well okay this is the company page. Where is it about the owner? How about more information on who they are, what they do? And so the reason why you get information like that, why you see pages is because for a lot of reasons, they don't want to be spam, perhaps, once they put their real identity publicly or they have their identity, but they don't show their faces or they don't give you their social profiles it's because they don't want to get spam. That's another part. And I can fully understand that. I'm not saying they are not legit. What I'm saying is I would want to see that if I'm working with someone like me, you guys go to viralfundingsolutions.com. You guys will see more about me. You guys have a picture of me. It's back when you open up the homepage and it should be like that or it may change over time. But that's where we resonate with people. And we want to know too, like, is there more of a team here? Like, who will I be working with? If somebody who collects my information, like, who am I going to be getting contacted by? I don't want to know that last second. And I want to know they're true professionals. And a lot of the times when you're working with like a Fortune 500 or 5,000, I'm not saying that here that they are or are not. I'm just saying to in general that a lot of the times you call into a company and they don't always have all the information. You may have to speak to somebody higher. And then, then that person may not have all the information. They're maybe not as vetted or they haven't worked enough in the field to really understand it. And I'm in the field and I do everything. I do the underwriting pre-underwriting excuse me or before it goes to the underwriter and then you know towards the lender i look at a file and i can see what underwriting guidelines myself from the lender what they're looking at or whatever lender that is and i go okay that's the right lender to take you to it makes sense and you won't get this amount because of this and then the market it's shifting right now and this is how much you can expect in the trucking construction real estate uh medical retail restaurant space whatever industry it is i've worked with all of them literally and so you want to have that. And it's also maybe a red flag because even if they've been around for some time, maybe if something hits the fan, you know, they're there like, okay, we didn't have ourselves shown publicly. We can just skip, go to a different platform, maybe create a different brand. Uh, but I'm not saying that exactly. It's just, I've seen that with other companies out there who pretend to be something and they just try to, you know, scam people. And I'm not saying that with Lindsay, but I wouldn't want something like that myself to be involved with. I want to know more and whether they are legitimate or not. So here you get to see more of the products that we're going to dive into here in just a second, what people are saying, and we'll kind of bounce back to this great company. As a business owner, I'm used to being, well, here, I'm leaving it only because it's what we're doing. I've struggled for a long time finding this kind of assistance and dedication, better opportunity as a business owner. And there you go. And I'll come back and circle around this. So let's go back to this review post. Lindsay is like, and I said this, Lindsay is like a an online marketplace like those Lendio's lending trees. And I've seen similarities with someone like the app sequence with lending tree for one. And, you know, I'm not saying they're copying them. Maybe they're just assimilating them or it was vice versa. And so you guys just have to be careful. I don't give my information to these type of companies only because I know how this works. I know it very well. And you have to be cautious because I've seen people even who come to me go, I've applied to this company, I've applied to lending tree, Lendio, this one, this one. And they go, they've been getting contacted over and over. They gave their information and they thought they weren't giving it the way they did and they weren't trustworthy. They told them one thing, they did another. They bait and switched. A lot of online marketplaces, I'm not saying Lindsay does, they might, but they bait and switch. They tell you, hey, we can get you this. And then they end up saying, no, that's going to work, but we can get you that. It's that. They said, okay, we'll get you a term loan instead of giving you a traditional merging cash advance. Get you an SBA loan. Oh, well, we can only get you cash advance. So you have to be very careful of this. And then what your information does, it can be sent to a third party shopped around her social security number now is probably her credit is her on the dark web there's these cases i know that because people come to me all the time and so be careful of that your credit can be shopped around and more uh just who you work with you want to work with a trusted advisor and an expert uh, loan broker like myself and why Lindsay? here's just some reasons no cost no obligation application quick funding timeline streamlined intuitive process you get access to various products with different lenders Let's go deeper inside now, and we're going to go into these products now. Let me go to that page. So let me go to the home page. I can go through the products navigation tab and select from any of them. You can do that as well. We'll select small business loans, opens up a new tab. Give it a second to load fully. I have this McAfee thing on the phone over there. Boost the funding your business needs, what type of small business loan are you looking for? So you have these five options to choose from, from sole proprietorship to S corporation. Now, 
honestly, it does matter because maybe you're all available for an SBA loan and that SBA lender may want to have looked at an LLC or a C Corp, S Corp as opposed to sole proprietorship and a few other things. However, once you go through the app sequence, you'll see how you can still select if you maybe misclick the wrong one. But this is just kind of a, hey, you click one of these, you know, we're going to we're going to try to segment you into what kind of client you are. It's data for them to collect a lot of the time to see who's applying from what entity. And so down below, you'll have information. And this is a great thing about Lenzi that I've seen with other online marketplace type of structures and not so always online marketplace, but they give you in-depth information about what a small business loan is or a specific type of loan. So they give you that generality of like what it is and the details. They give you the juice, the meat and the potatoes. But you'll see also that, hey, where is, I want to know more. So you'll get to that in a second. So here you see like, what is a small business loan? Da, 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 what it takes to qualify. And it's kind of a generality. Like, what does it take to qualify? Yeah, you can tell me I need this credit, I need to have some revenue, I need to have some time of business, what is that, and da, 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 da. maybe not sufficient funds of this, but each lender is different. And so what they don't do 100% is give you like the specifics on what those lenders or what their own, maybe their own underwriting guidelines are for those lenders and the benefit you get with coming through Lenzi as opposed to anywhere else. And so like, again, I said, I've been in this industry long enough and I work with the best lenders. Sometimes I take you direct, sometimes I take you through a brokerage. That's not exactly an online marketplace, but we have an in-house full of lenders that I already have those direct lender partnerships with. It's just better to do it through this brokerage because of the flexibility. The underwriting is way better. The benefits you get, early payment discounts, terms, rates, the maximum amount of funding, who I know too is most important. So you want to leverage my network and we never hurt your credit. It's very safe and secure. So it's better this way. And it is always better like that instead of going into it directly because of the market. And they're going to decline you or they don't decline you, but they're going to give you less amount than you would have gone if you went here because you leveraged me. And I know those people. I know those underwriters. I know the lenders and I know them much more closely on a personal and business level. So you want to leverage that and not just give your information out to everybody and everybody. There's a time to shop around. There's a time to not. And I'll let you know what we're doing so you don't shop around or you stop doing that. And I can show you something better, more competitive. And usually we can beat a lot of the things that are out there. So here, let's say we clicked on sole proprietorship. Now it'll bring you through the app sequence. This kind of almost looks like a Lendio or a lending tree where you would have done something similar to select from one entity. And then they would take you in to see a few things, a little bit of a different interface. And then again, you have an option in case you selected the wrong one. So it honestly doesn't matter if you click that one for their information, for their data to kind of see on their back end as a marketing perspective. Yeah, I can understand that. So proprietor will collect, will, before uh, clicking the orange button down here, this will not affect your credit. Your information is protected with bank level security. You won't, sh you won't share your info without approval. Okay. Yeah. But again, your information is out there for now. Other lenders to look at, whether, you know, you thought about it being different or not. Like I said, you won't always get the best and you have to be careful about how you're getting contacted. You're not always getting the best. There's something always out there that's more strategic and that I recommend. So just be careful because a lot of companies out there, you know, they have this whole like pump and dump a ads i'm not saying they're doing a lot of that but even if they were it's like a lot of companies have that pump add into like ten thousands of dollars into it per month so that doesn't necessarily mean they're the best it's just they've gone out there to contact other lenders created a business around this and said hey we can leverage your uh, partnership and then we can get you in front of a lot of people by getting a part of our lendsy or lendio or lending tree whatever it is platform and so you have to be more careful and have more of a a frame of mind that like, look, when you're doing it this way, it can go so many directions. And when you're helping out somebody like myself as yourself, small business owner, business owner, you're making an impact in yours truly. And you're ma I'm making an impact in you, vice versa. And you're, we're helping one another out grow and in this economy and help out a lot more people and get them the right type of help. So how much money do you need? You can select from whatever option you need. Doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get that amount. What is your business name? So you're going to go through these details and just put some of that business personal information. And then, you know, hey, we'll have your information and we're going to try to find you some offers and all that you know, the whole game. And I wouldn't do that again to submit information that way. So different products. Let me come back here. Business term loans, uh, SBA loans here before I do that, actually. Let me see here. So I have that ring still. So let me move this. It might get dark. So business line of credit, SBA loans, business term loans, equipment financing, merchant cash, advanced commercial mortgage, invoice factoring. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on all of them. 
let me just click on one of the most popular services that gets the highest approvals. It's called the Merchant Cash Advance, and this is where you get funding based on your future receivables. And this is based off of credit card transactions, credit card receipts, those credit card statements you see in your banking activity. And it's more based upon where if you make more sales one day, you get more taken out. ACH goes back to the lender, the merchant. You make less one day in sales, less comes out of your account. Or there's a fixed amount that can be taken out. And there's also a hybrid cash advance where it isn't just based upon your credit card receipts and credit card statements. It's encompassing all revenue coming into your business, cash, cash, ACH, ACH, excuse me, electronic, wire transfers and credit card statements and a lot more that I recommend. And I'm going to leave more information of that down below. And it's a better amount that you can get fixed instead of it fluctuating and what gets taken in out and what goes back in, et cetera. So I'm not going to get too much into the details, but again, you guys got to see there how there's some, you know, specific information and available amount, general industry requirements. I mean, that's just general, right? And they have some of the lenders there, but it doesn't necessarily mean that's the best to go to. So they're telling you actually like what those lenders requirements are for a few of them here. And again, like I said, I wouldn't always do it this way. Go here. They're giving it to you, but is it most up to date? Something's changed. It's not always that specific for your industry. So you always want to know more by getting connected with the uh, business loan broker. And so how much can your business get? And how much can they qualify for? So while it isn't all quote unquote general, because they give you some information about those other lenders, it doesn't necessarily mean those are the best to go to anyways. And we have to see if you're an A, B, C, D tier lender. And so you have to be careful about just giving the information. You want to have the education before you go start an application. And then I don't think even at this, even if you get enough, it's still not. And if you get access to someone like yourself, myself here, you're going to have a lot more to work with. So back to this here. Business term loans are a lump sum given to you and paid back over a set amount of time. There are different types of term loans and they are short term loans. Usually last up to 18 months, intermediate term loans. One to three, three years. Long-term loans last longer than three years. SBA loans, government-backed loans, where the bank or you can get a non-banking SBA lender, help you get a loan, but generally the SBA guarantees that will pay back the bank about 85%. Depends on what the guarantee is, of course, for each of those SBA 7A subsets of your remaining loan balance. If you default on the loan, there are SBA 7A loans, and I have to put a few links there because I updated this post a little bit, as well as others like the IDLE, which is at this moment, no open applications. It could change in the future. Now we're in January. And microloans from the SBA, or there are a few other nonprofit, for-profit organizations, the cash advances, we went into the hybrid, the equity financing, debt financing, factoring, giving up unpaid invoices as collateral because you get paid on terms. You need bridge funding to bridge those gaps of cash flow and for other reasons you need the money for. And so here I just kind of walked you through already the application in the sense what it would look like if you clicked on either one of them, the entities for disaster loans, SBA idle loans, business physical disaster loans, and a lot more for startup business loans, personal slash startup loans. And if you are a business with pre-revenue, but we're going to be looking at more of a credit side, then I have this that I'll try to link you to down below, as well as more resources that post that you can check out as well. But if you have this, I won't go through all the requirements at this moment but what it entails, how to get started. I even made a video for you on how to get a personal loan for your business. That also includes startup funding because there are similar requirements. And I'll leave this again down below in the description. And that even if you don't have any revenue, uh, you do have the revenue, maybe a personal loan does make sense because maybe you've gone declined for other things, your bank statements, tax returns, or other documents, or it just makes sense to do that personal slash startup loan situation. Business credit cards, uh, that's another one for startups. And I won't go into these so in deep, because I already have other video content and on the blog where I already talk about it. So I'll link it to you down below. But business credit cards, that's when you want to leverage, separate your personal and business. And you can even get 0% interest for 6 to 18 months up to 150, if not 250,000 and in a credit line. And so with these multiple business credit cards, now you have credit lines you can withdraw from. And for those uh, 12 to 18, 6 to 12, 6 to 18 months, you have 0% interest. But of course, you have to understand when that payment then goes into effect on the interest can you make the repayment? It's about getting good debt, not bad debt at the end of the day. So if you're looking to save more, uh, be very careful and cautious that when you do have to pay on interest, that it isn't too much more than what you can handle. So the benefit has to exceed your repayment, principal and interest, keep that in mind. And I'll leave more information of this credit line hybrid program down below as well, but you can also check it out from the 
blog post there. You can click those green links. You can get started and learn more about SBA loans, which I'm doing plenty of above the 7A, the 504, CDC. Uh, there are other ones too, but the 7A is really popular right now. And you can use this for refinancing, consolidation, growth and expansion, working capital, inventory, and other reasons. And so again, I'll leave you more information of that, other videos that I've created. And that questionnaire form is what you want to do first, because then I'll be able to evaluate, analyze what I have at face value. And I could pre-underwrite a file, send that information back to you before we go into an application. We're not in an application yet. I'm going to show you. And from that email, normally you can get started. For real estate loans, you have FH, FHA lo home loans, VA home loans, USDA home loans, no doc loans. And if you'd like to see my number one recommended place for real estate, there's also a link. And I'll also leave you documentation down below on how to get started and put some information. And I have my preferred people, the best, the most reputable in the real estate space, traditionally, non-traditionally. Traditionally, you have those non-traditionally, maybe you're going more in the form of a banking. And I, and I mean, traditionally, as in like commercial real estate mortgage, instead of going through the SBA 7A CRE loan. So that's different. So it depends on the situation you're in. For personal loans, as the name states, if you have debt or any need help for paying a large purchase, then you may want to consider getting a personal loan. And we'll go back to this segment here and kind of look at those a little bit. So personal loans, debt consolidation. If you're not using, if you're not looking to use a personal loan for business, then there are other recommendations. Maybe like a SoFi would be a great place to go into. There are a few others as well. Uh, but if you're using a personal loan for business, regardless, I'll leave more information of that down below. How much do you need? You can do that. Debt consolidation. I help out a lot of people do this with personal loans. They've even taken out other loans that they use a certain percentage of, like revenue based or collateralized, and they use that to pay off a personal loan, or they use that for other debt obligations, refinance, consolidate those. And then if they have other advances or other types of loans, then we can try to consolidate and put it underneath one if the remaining balance and if the positions make sense, of course. And that's what an SBA is also for, because you can take what you have over here and consolidate underneath one of the SBA 7A up to 10 years, if not up to 25 years with real estate and a few other things. So now let me bring up this HP lighting. I know perhaps it got dark. I apologize for that. And then for student loans, federal student loans, let me Make sure I show you guys that here. See home equity line of credit. There are a few other ones out there that I would recommend as well for the home equity line of credit, especially going to your bank. That's probably taking a second to load. Actually, it wouldn't because it doesn't have any subsets of that. But home equity line of credit, you see there. The HELOC. These are things I also show people. So if you want to know my recommendation, I'll leave more down below. And again, more information, which is great. And I appreciate them giving you plenty of information on what that is. Doesn't necessarily mean though that they are the best to turn to because they have that. So it's like going to a house. Like you see it from the outside, maybe you're in a rich area or a good environment, but on the inside, you're like, well, you expect it to look nice, right? But maybe on the inside, it's disrupted. There's something being torn down, renovating, there's some rehab that needs to be done to this house. And it's just like, well, you just found out that it's very old too. And it's just like, okay, well, there's, there's a lot of things like a domino effect. So you have to be very careful and it's, you know, chaos. So not saying exactly that's what they're doing, but in some circumstances, to some capacity, that can be it. And then you see the loan calculator here. If I click there, you can select from any of the ones that are there, drop down. And then we're just going to click on business loan calculator, but there's mortgage personal and student loan. And here you'll see what it looks like. How much do you want to borrow? So it isn't the most specific calculator. I've worked with others out there that are more specific, way bigger. And so they just give you, you know, a, a good perspective, not enough of a perspective, just enough to get you to be interactive. When you show that kind of like commitment and that curiosity, it, it almost goes as far as saying, yeah, I want to go with, it, with this. But it just, you know, little things like that. And it's just not as specific. It's just going to give you like one of those pre-approval things. Marketing pre-approval things doesn't really tell you that this is what you'll get ultimately. But, you know, it gives you a sense of what is possible. So ready to get started, let's go there. Let's follow this review though. And then we'll close up shop here. And while it isn't the most robust calculator out there, it gives you a simple what you can potentially get if you adjust yours, like a few of those fields that we just saw. It's like one of those pre-approvals. Step one for how it works, you will apply in minutes here. Let's go to that page actually. We already went through this, but let's go back to it. Apply in minutes and then compare lending options and then secure funding. And then what people are saying, we'll go back to that here in a moment. 
and the reviews what people are saying great company as a business owner i'm used to being bombarded with calls from pushy lenders but i must say that Luis was extremely professional friendly and informative he actually helped me reasonably consider all options to make the best decision for my business he step in to help finish the process and he was equally as impressive the quick response it was great appreciated i would highly recommend them so i'm not saying they are being bashful i mean there are a lot of online make marketplaces that are that way uh, and again, you want to work with somebody who has been in your position as well. I've been in your position where having struggled growing my businesses, not even to mention how much it took to actually even earn my first 18 cents. I think it was, yeah, it was 18 cents with a pain relief cream where I was helping people with health related issues. And that's what I created a site for. And I did information on tutorials and I did more and I grew from there and understanding how to get the business financing and what that entails and what are the parameters and then getting in your position. And then as well as then, helping other people understand what they should avoid, what they shouldn't do, and how to assimilate and relate with someone on those uh, parts. So what people are saying, you see there, more worth doing. Uh, Lens of Trust Pilot, you see that. Positive reviews, Rob is amazing. I cannot say enough about this. And then you see one here with Tracy shift in loan process without awareness. Everything went well. I thought it was I was approved, was waiting on funds that never arrived, only to find out that the loan had been Cited, mind you, that I was informed by Tony, the last name there, I was approved. I would not suggest this company if you're looking for clarity through the whole process. So that's another fact. So you want somebody who's going to be transparent with you. And again, I have the most, I have the best, I would say myself, processes, systems, and automation. I'm a very systematic and mathematical-minded person. And, you know, going to school and all that helped me prepare for a lot of those. And when I went to study and those things, but as looking at processes, systems, and automation, I'm looking to see, okay, once before you even get started, like what would our communication be like at this point? What would it be at that? So it's very effortless and it's very frictionless and resistance wise. And again, I work with the best and my team and you can leverage them in a huge longer term relationship with. So here are some Lindsay Google reviews. You see there 4.9 again. And then Giannine, great company. Uh, we'll, I'm leaving a review somewhat similar to what we saw earlier. So, Lindsay complaints through BBB. First off, Lindsay's homepage specifically states that there is no cost for submitting an application yet prior to releasing the funding. Excuse me, they require you to sign a document that clearly states that they are charging you $500 application fee. Oh, 3% for literally doing something that I could have done myself through the lender at this one. Lindsay is screwing over small businesses. Da, 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 da. Ridiculous fee. So that's also something you have to be careful about. You know, sometimes they are right. Sometimes they are not right. But if you see this periodically becoming a habit, maybe it is a competitor just trying to bash them down, but maybe it isn't. And so I wouldn't take that chance to be honest because a lot of these online marketplaces do end up doing things like that where the cost, the fee associations, the origination fees, the lender cl closing fees, those end up becoming more ridiculous. And you're like, well, I wanted, I got a hundred thousand, but I, now I'm only taking 90,000. I could have taken uh, at least um, 95 or 98,000 because there are somewhat of a low lender closing fee. And with other, if you're more of an eight tier client, you end up getting like the closing fees waved off with my specific lenders and the best that I know. And so it just depends on your file, but you don't want to get charged ridiculous. So you want to be careful and take this very carefully. Non-existence of established security, privacy, and compliance methodologies for handling sensitive consumer data uh, required by financial firms. And a few things on, I was contracted by Lindsay, contacted by Lindsay customer service rep. See, that's the difference. Like you're getting contacted by a customer service rep as opposed to getting contacted by a true business loan broker. Whether it's a phone call or not, we can do a direct messenger chat. I can't always be on the call because I get a lot of people who come to me. And so I have to be the most energy and time efficient. So I have to vet people in myself through my own processes. And if it makes sense to get on a call, then it will for those specific reasons. And so just understand you have, Somebody in your corner who's going to go round after round with you, who's going to put the towel over you to clean the sweat off. You're not even going to be sweating. You're going to be just sitting there hanging out kind of on a vacation in a different world while I'm doing everything on the back end. And so just be very careful. This is a long, in-depth one. I won't get into all of it, but I'll leave the review down below. Lindsay BBB, they have a, a BBB rating and accreditation of an A. Okay, but that doesn't always mean that just because they have an A is best. Sometimes you have to be careful I'm not saying they are doing this, but there are a lot of companies out there who buy information and who buy reviews. And I'm not saying they do that. That's not what I'm saying here. But it could be, they could not be, but it's just be careful. A lot of it can be a marketing perspective. A lot of it can be from their own 
clients from or from their own team writing reviews or whatever it is. I'm not saying that's always the case. How much does Lindsay cost? They say there's no upfront cost like an application for your hidden costs. You know, we kind of see if there is or not there with the review. However, you will be giving your information to third party lenders organizations so you may be unsure about. It may not be the best for you. Usually with online marketplaces like these, you don't always get the best solution as you would if you worked with a broker like yours truly. The other costs you will endure are your energy and time. And what I mean by that is from the outside, it looks good, right? Like the house scenario we spoke about and that you just enter a few pieces of your business information, maybe personal information about your business and, and yourself and you'll be sent a lender with an offer. Hey, we're reviewing you. We'll send you an offer. That sounds good. It's a hey, effortless, right? Just put it into a system and then see what it shoots out at me. No, no, I know better. You don't want to be doing stuff like that because people take the least of a resistance route. I want to save you guys. I can't save everybody, but spread this word with others. So you feel do need that help because as a business owner, you already have a lot of things going on and a lot of organizations like these, I'm not saying that's their full intention, but they say, Hey, just take some information. We'll take care of it. Yes. I do the same thing, but it's not as exactly like the way that they would do it here with these online marketplaces. You're actually working with the real human being, somebody who knows their stuff who's going to educate you. And you're going to leverage my team, my processes. You're going to love it. All the extra stuff that comes with me, the bonus material, the content, the extra help, more and more that you will discover. So it may sound neat where you don't have to invest energy and time into that, but you will likely not get the best along with your credit to be shopped around, probably email, text, phone calls, the lore. And so many headaches, you're like, at Michael, I have all these offers on my emails. You wouldn't be imagining how many people contacting me. I have New Yorkers, people from Florida, people yapping in my ear, natural salespeople. And I'm not a natural salesperson or a salesperson at all. I don't even like to use sales, to be honest with you. you know, I came from an academic background, grew into going to school. I played Division I soccer, did a few things. And so for me, it's just I had learned the skill sets of these things. As a business owner, we learn these things, as a slash entrepreneur. And so when you go into the field, you just have to be self-aware of who you really are and make sure you don't necessarily not get uncomfortable because getting in your getting out of your comfort zone is what helps you grow. But to a point, you have to understand what you're willing to push and like, are you still growing into the person you want to become and not doing something forceful? So keep that in mind. And so I'll show you my random room recommendation. You can look into that post. I'll leave it also down below. More who is Lindsay for. Uh, it's really designed for startups, non-startups, business, non-business owners, as you got to see with the home equity lines of credit. However, you decide to use that, maybe it is for business, uh, for personal loans, for debt obligations, for other reasons, and some other alternatives out there. Personal loans, startup loans for business. And beginners who have no clue how to apply for funding online and are okay with giving their information and be sent to multiple third parties. And like getting flooded with emails, perhaps calls, texts, and maybe get not the best, accept stand maybe they don't accept the best standards of getting in good enough is what they want. And I'm not saying that Lindsay is not at a high standard because they're up there, but there are other alternatives that I feel are much stronger to lean on and what'll help you more longer term and get you maximum funding and do more, build that relationship even better with you, honestly. And then people who have been around the block while getting with getting lending in the past and are just curious to see what else is out there, compare other options, don't mind getting bombarded time and time again. I mean, I wouldn't do this. Like I said, again, don't be doing that. You're applying to multiple online marketplaces like that. It's only going to cause you headaches. And be very careful about what people promise you and what they can actually deliver on. Overpromising and underdelivering is a huge thing you have to be careful about. And especially there's scams out there in this industry. So be careful about saying that they are doing that. Who's it not for? Uh, so again, who's it for? Business owners looking for growth and expansion of their business or themselves. People slash business owners looking for debt, relief obligate, uh, programs, obligations. Who's enough for people who know better to just give out information at risk the number of times they'll be contacted and left feeling even more frustrated. Business owners who want more of a calculated, that's the number one thing, calculated, a meticulous approach where their information is safe and secure and want the best of the best lender with the best underwriting looking at them and even more that comes with that. You value a business loan broker slash business loan consultant in yours truly to guide you in the right direction and educate you at the same time on different services and what each of those lenders are looking for specifically, because I know what those lenders want. If you speak to somebody else, they may, may not know. Are they even in the market? Like, will they be able to give you an answer like that? Because I will usually. And I know because I'm in these meetings, I talk to the underwriters, the lenders, and I have a strong relationship and bond. For me, they would go back and forth with, with someone else, an agent, broker, or whoever it is. They probably don't know them well. They don't probably bring them enough business. Or they're just like, well, 
I don't like their personality or their characteristics. But with me, you work with somebody you can confide in. And the same time on different services in which each of those lenders are looking for, and you want a broker who will be able to handle your documents. That's what's most important. You want somebody who can take that off your plate. Like, hey, I'm going to need a personal financial statement if we're doing an SBA loan, BFS statement, or we're going to need this tax returns, this documentation. Okay, only for this application, I'm going to only need this amount of bank statements, only this, this, I'll be asking for you at this. Stress-free. I got it. Don't worry. I got your back. So you want somebody who can I'll not only handle it, but evaluate it. I pre-underwrite by looking at it and I analyze these things every single day before sending them to the lender so you have more assurance. Better, that's what you want. Pros and cons. Various lending options so you're not limited to just one service. Lengthy information about the different types of services as we saw. Professional looking sites. Support is there. Cons. Online marketplace where you may not get the best look in lender and your information may be shopped, can be shopped around and you wouldn't like that. Not specifically on their underwriting guidelines. Like, yeah, you may have seen just a few things on different lenders underneath their partnership, but it can change. And there's things that are different for each industry and so forth. And so something has to be updated and you don't always get the best underwriter. That's the thing too. You might not be getting the best underwriting. Maybe they're using the same underwriter as that other person over here with this company. And they're just probably trying to make it for points. They're just probably trying to make a certain amount of money in their business. So you have to be careful that a lot of these types of organizations, not saying they exactly are doing this, but a lot of organizations are looking at their numbers and saying, we got to meet a goal of this. And who wouldn't say that? We got to meet a goal of this per month. But they're going to just try to jam things down your throat. A lot of these organizations out there, just so they can make the most amount of money for their business. And they say they care, but ultimately they're doing what is in their best interest a lot of the times. So similar to other online marketplaces, excuse me, you could get contacted over and over and over and it will only frustrate you. Kind of been there as well as a lot of my clients have. Not a strategic and longer term approach as long as how I see it. And they may be saying, yeah, we can start you here and get you that. I'm not saying they wouldn't, but there's a better way. It's like, okay, well, you got to start here. And in the meantime, let's do this here. We can actually get you more than what they said they would have gotten you there. We can work and try to beat that. Boom, 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 boom. And then now it's a trickle effect. You don't consult with the broker. Like you may, you may not. Usually as a customer service rep, maybe you don't get the head of the person there. Or you're like, how do they know the lender that well? Like you got to ask the hard questions, ask them to me. Alternatives. There are mostly definitely, there are most definitely better, more and better, excuse me, alternatives for business owners. And even if you don't run a business, but for business owners looking for funding, here's my number one recommendation, Bitty Lance. And that's one that I recommend. I'll link you to down below. And this is where you can get up to 25, 35K, even up to 2 million incredibly fast. And uh, without collateral, no hard credit checks, a majority of the times, bad credit, it is acceptable and it's lower documentation, not like these higher doc programs. And there are partnerships that I have within these organizations. So I'll also leave a review uh, post, video, blog post that you can check out, blog post, usually most up to date. You can watch that. Another one there that I recommend, uh, Go Capital, and then with personal slash startup loans, perhaps a form of real estate. And there's another real estate lender, other real estate lenders, brokerages, et cetera, that I recommend. The Credit Line Hybrid, uh, that's another program that I recommend. I even left you a link tree there so you can learn more. But you'll want to review this and not just go and apply to companies or direct lenders you hear from here or anywhere else. You don't want to do that. You want to come through my network. You want to be able to leverage me and what I've already built. And when they see that you've come through me, they go, oh, okay. They've come through Michael. So they know what I do and how I can do things. And as opposed to going somewhere else or going it the way you thought it would be better, you're like, okay, well, I didn't get the best benefits. I didn't get the best flexibility or the payment discounts. I can't even get those add-on funds the way that I thought I could or the way that I wanted to. So what I like most about Lindsay, I do like the value, the fact that you get lengthy information for each product they have, and you even get to see some of those underwriting guidelines. I'm saying that they're not there or the most up-to-date or that it would work like that for your industry because it is different. They have and get to see what each one of them and where what could potentially be the qualifications for them. It's also important to say that you get a variety, not just one type of business loan or a personal loan. It's just on business loans and personal loans uh, for your personal side, of course, but rather personal loans and more. What I like least, whether the owner uh, or owners disguising themselves from the public, not like by name, maybe they're not using the right name, maybe they are, by not showing their face and more for not getting spammed or because they are hiding something. I really don't like these kind of things, whether they are legitimate or not. I'm not saying they're not, but it's just, I wouldn't want to be doing that. And so it just goes to show that, you know, they're pumping maybe a lot of money into these kind of things where they don't have to show their face publicly or they don't have to build themselves a brand where yours truly has had to endure those things. If you've been there, you know what it takes. And I'm not saying they haven't, but it's like, so what degree and how much honesty will you bring to the table? 
before it's too late. And then it's like, I can't turn back. So I really don't like these kind of things. I've had experience in the past where when this is the case, there's something possibly lurking in the back. We don't know about. Maybe there isn't. Maybe there is. And if something goes wrong, they can just balance and separate themselves from their entity and then maybe brand themselves different. But I'm not saying that's exactly what's going on. I'm speaking from experience of being on other platforms and other programs and so forth. And what uh, does, I got to change that word, what does come through there as well. I also don't like that we don't know exactly the lenders. I mean, yeah, they may have given you a quick snippet of those underwriting guidelines from some of those lenders, but are they the ones, are they the most up-to-date lenders, are they the best lenders to work with? Do you Are you leveraging their partnership with those lenders that are the best or not? Because when you come through me, I've worked with those lenders directly, indirectly, and I have a team who even has as much of a stronghold with them, or if not more. And so when you leverage my team, it's going to be so much more simpler and way better. I I would believe so. And so it's important to know that uh, for the best underwriting guidelines, making sure you get the best qualifications, parameters, early payment discounts, a lot more that you can leverage and being able to even get a percentage of what you do by sharing. Uh, your, if you got funded, like for example, like I, who I work with, I have an organization and you can get the funding if you take it and then you can share it with others and then, you can reduce your payments, I believe it is, and or you can get compensated for review, reviewing, uh, uh, referring, excuse me, others, and you can get compensated and get help. And there's a lot more benefits that come with this. And so you want to take that uh, approach and that'll be very helpful. Even if you didn't do it, it's there on the table. So it's also important to mention if they have the best underwriting and are not just going to one or two or like a lot of the organizations do, which usually isn't good. And we can't go without mentioning how your information can get dispersed to different third parties, which I know isn't the best. Uh, but because of convenience and time, people apply to places like these every day without knowing, or they do, but are stubborn. <laughs> uh, when you can't get approved, uh, so some final thoughts there, and what I recommend is my number one place to go into. So just to recap on this video, I believe I've showed you everything. Let me look through some tabs here. Oh, and one thing I want to make mention of is from Scam Advisor here. This is a legit website that looks to some of these sites like Lenzi. And so they say, you know, they're trustworthy. They have a trust score up there. And, you know, they've aged for some time. They're valid. Negative highlights. The owner of the website is using a service to hide their identity on who is. According to Tronco, the site is has a low Alexa rank. So it doesn't necessarily dispel them and make them bad. But it's just, again, like I said, it comes back to these kind of things. You have to be careful about turning to companies like these. And there's just more information. So legitimate, they even have uh, revised and looked at it to kind of give a similar conclusion to what I've come across. Uh, but yeah, I think that's everything I want to cover. FAQ, contact, blog, that's all in there. Showed you parts of the application process. Here you have that. Uh, and I'll leave more information if there's anything that I missed out down below. How it works, loan calculators, products. Got to see more or less. There's variety. And I have my best lenders, just so you know. And I'll leave more information down below as well as in this blog post. Uh, if you feel like you got value out of this, Please give it a thumbs up, share it with others so you feel will give value out of it. It can be a complete stranger, friend, or family member, but you know you made a difference in each one of those people's lives. Uh, and again, if I didn't recap very quickly that this isn't not, it's not a scam. It's not not legitimate. It's just, there's legitimacy. It's just what the parameters, the details, what you give your information to and how you're getting contacted, the communication, the benefits, the underwriting, everything. You have to take that into account. And a lot of people don't. And when they do, they, they're probably too late or it's not too late. They come to me and they find me. They go, hey, Michael, I don't want to work with them like that. I actually trust you. I believe you. And what you're seeing here is the truth. You know, I'm an introvert too. And it's hard to be for me to be on camera, but I know this gives you a lot of value. Uh, but if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Click that bell notification icon so you do not miss any future content I will be coming out with. And I believe that will conclude everything yes in this video look down below in the description for that questionnaire from to get started and all the resources and keep looking out for my content that i will be rolling out that is everything for today appreciate you thank you for tuning in and i'll talk to you next time